Ralpartha Enterprises. Formed in 1975, Ralpartha Enterprises, Inc. of Cincinnati, Ohio, United States, is now known as Ralpartha Legacy Limited and produces miniature figures in 25mm, 30mm, 15mm and 54mm scale. The company's products are made by spin-casting metal alloys which depict soldiers, adventurers and creatures that have been inspired by history and fiction. Their miniatures are sold at gaming conventions, in hobby shops, and by internet and mail order for use in role-playing games, wargaming, dioramas, competitive painting and collecting. The company began as a basement enterprise undertaken by a group of wargamers around the talents of Tom Meyer, a 16-year-old sculptor. The company grew with the increasing popularity of board and role-playing games. By 1982, Ralpoth products were sold worldwide. Ralpoth is best known for its historical figures, fantasy collector's series and miniatures produced for TSR, Inc. S. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons and Foss's Battletech games. Tom Mai became a freelance sculptor in 1988 and retains copyrights to much of his work for Ralpoth. Until 2020 he worked on commission and operated Thunderbolt Mountain Miniatures, a boutique company for pet projects involving dioramas, 54mm figurines and a new series of elves and goblins. During its 40-year history, Ralpotha has employed more than two dozen sculptors, of whom some of the most prolific were Dennis Mice, Julie Guthrie, Sandra Garrity, Robert North, Charette and Dave Summers. The owners of the original Ralpotha Enterprises, Inc. sold the company to Fossa in 1998 and was one of the assets acquired by Wizkins in 2000. The following year, Ralpotha's production assets were recast as Iron Wind Metals, LLC of Cincinnati. In 2015, and the 40th anniversary of the founding of Ralpotha, we acquired the lawn and used trademarks and relaunched Ralpotha as a division of the company focused on producing new and archived miniature lines under the banner of the Chaos Wars gaming world. In July 2020, Iron Wind Metals retired the Ralpotha division of Iron Wind Metals brand and licensed the Ralpotha era fantasy and historical miniatures to Ralpotha Legacy Limited, which owns the Chaos Wars games. Ralpotha Legacy also acquired the license to Tom Meyer's Thunderbolt Mountain Miniature Lines, which unites more than four decades of the artist's work. The new company has announced additions to the existing lines by original designers like Tom Meyer and Robert North. Shred as well as new artists. Iron Wind Metals continues to produce lines for the futuristic Fawcett era games including Battletech and Shadowrun. United States In 1980, Ralph Potha licensed select designs to Rockcliffe Peter, a long-time producer of cast metal art. The Peter versions of Ralph Potha sculpts were typically bare metal with a satin finish and decorated with glass jewels. In time, a division of the company called Potha Pewter was established to produce directly for the giftware market. Canada. Ralpartha established a licensing agreement with Rafam, a miniatures manufacturer in Paris, Ontario, Canada in 1980. The two companies have had a long-term working relationship which lasted well into the 1990s. Great Britain. In 1979, Citadel Miniatures was formed by Games Workshop as a miniatures production shop to produce their own figures and to distribute Ralpartha figures in Britain. Citadel Miniatures attempted to establish a U.S. division in 1982 with Ral Potha as the local manufacturer. The partnership was short-lived and in 1984 Games Workshop established their own U.S. subsidiary and became a direct competitor. The Citadel Miniatures U.S. products were brought under the Ral Potha logo and marketed as Ral Potha Imports. In 1985, the import lines included the FDX Roman 20 Fantasy Tribes, Fax Roman 20 Fantasy Adventurer, FF 31 XXX Fiend Factory, FS 32 Roman 20 Fantasy Special, the popular WF Roman 20 Weird Fantasy series with whimsical themes, FMM Roman 20 Fantasy Mysterious Miniatures, and Abbey Roman 20 Tabletops Laser Burn Lion of Space Marines. Historical lines included Romans, AR Roman 20, Dark Ages DA Roman 20, Medieval's MXXX and Samurai SAM Roman 20. Hashtag, ref unless otherwise noted, the designs discussed were produced in 25mm scale. Coop Peacols note at least two figures, FTT3 Troll Hulling Rock and FTT4 Troll in Chainmail with Scimitar were sculpted by Tom Meyer while visiting England in 1981. In 1986, Minifix gained the rights to manufacture and distribute Ralph Arthur's fantasy range in Britain.
The following year, Raupoth dropped Citadel Miniatures' historical lines and began to distribute Denizen Miniatures' Wars 33XXX, Orcs 34XXX, 36XXX Legion of the Dam Skeletons, and 39XXX Fantastic Adventures. Continental Europe By 1989, Jude Descartes of Paris gained the rights to distribute Raupoth figures in continental Europe. Some early Raupoth advertisements erroneously give the name as Joe Descartes. The relationship was ongoing in 1997, but was probably severed when Fossa purchased Ralparth of the following year. Australia In the 1980s and 1990s, Ralparth products were distributed in Australia by military simulations of Moorbean, Victoria, and then Bentley, Victoria. Product Codes Only a product code marked Ralparth's early packaging and customers required a contemporary catalogue in order to identify the miniature. In late 1979, the company switched from product codes that used descriptive letter and number codes to a numeric system. For example, in the series Personalities and Things That Go Bump in the Night, East Minus One Evil Wizard, Casting Spell became One Minus One, and the first figure of the 15th century Renaissance series 1501 Command Set became 54 Minus One. The change was not universal. Raoul Pothy used letter codes for Citadel miniatures and Denizen miniatures in their line of Raoul Poth imports until 1992. Raoul Pothy's international partners used their own systems. Rafam of Canada used the descriptive product codes as late as 1984. Xi Descartes initially used Raoul Pothy's numeric codes on packaging of their own design, but new lines were introduced selectively and given codes sequential to their own series. As a result, product codes often differ depending on whether the miniatures were produced in the United States, Canada, or Europe. Throughout the company's history, figures were modified to improve reproducibility and popular designs were re-sculpted and existing product codes were used for new designs. A common cause of modification was a level of detail or animation which challenged the casting technology. An industry-wide reorientation of scale from 25mm to 30mm in the late 1990s and interest in removing artists' royalties from lines also prompted new sculpts of existing lines. Few of Raoul Poth's miniatures were marked with product codes and the company's advertisements and catalogues remain a critical resource for collectors. Advertisements by Raoul Poth and its British and Canadian partners appear in most editions of TSR, Inc., S-Dragon and Games Workshop's White Dwarf magazines. Product catalogues were published annually from 1978 to 1997 and in 2000. The 1998 and 1999 catalogues were combined into a single issue. Rapoth also released Christmas catalogues in 1982 and 1983, and imports catalogue in 1984, historical miniatures catalogues in 1985 and 1996, 2000 direct mail catalogue and sporadically released updated order forms which listed all the figures in production. In the late 1996, Raoul Poth augmented the catalogues with a webpage which highlighted popular products and new releases. After the formation of Iron Wind Metals in 2001, an online catalogue and electronic order forms entirely replaced printed catalogues. Company History Raoul Poth Enterprises was formed in 1975 when Glen East. Kid Tom Meyer and Rich Smetho set out to produce Meyer's sculptures. Meyer pioneered the sculpture of miniatures in a two-part epoxy putty designed for automotive repair. The epoxy held detail better than traditional media and rest of the miniature industry adopted its use. When mixed together, the blue and yellow components of the putty formed green putty which gave rise to the term greens for the original artist's work. Finding themselves still short of funds, the three enlisted Mark Rubin, Chuck Crane, and Jack Hesselbrock as partners. The six investors pooled USD $3,000 to purchase the equipment necessary to produce Maya's sculptures. The company had its origins in the established hobby of historical wargaming, but the company's rapid growth was fostered by the popularity of role-playing games. The company was named Ralpoth after a particularly successful wizard character created by Tom's own friend John Winkler. The character was a notoriously hard bargainer whose shrewdness was exemplified by the catchphrase What's it worth to you? It was hoped that the fledgling company would have similar good fortune. Like their popular line of three stage characters, Raoul Potha has had a trio of aspects. The first was Winkler's gaming character, depicted as East Minus One Evil Wizard, casting spell. Well, 
when Clay himself became one of the company's chief casters. Lastly, Raoul was the company's satanic progenitor credited with collaborative projects and depicted as 10412 Lord of the Barrogues. Products were originally cast in the basement of 3642 High Park Avenue in the Fairfax neighbourhood of Cincinnati, the home of the company's first president, Glen East. Kid. In the spring of 1978, the company established a factory at 3726 Lonsdale Street in the Norwood section of Cincinnati. At the time of the move, the address was erroneously rendered as 2732 and 2736 Lonsdale, but there is no 2700 block of that street. Small stickers were applied to the 1978 product catalogue to correct the address. Those stickers have typically fallen off in the intervening years. By November 1980, Ralph Potha moved to a larger industrial space at 5938 Carthage Court, where it and the Iron Wind Metals production facilities remained until 2014. Iron Wind Metals has its offices and production facilities at 10,437 Chester at RD in Woodlawn, Ohio. Ralph Potha's formative years were the late 1970s, when the company was a part-time basement enterprise producing the art of a teenage sculptor for a nascent gaming market. In 1979, the company became a full-time endeavour with industrial space and two professional sculptors designing products for multiple themes made popular by the rapidly expanding gaming market. The number of sculptors and catalogue of miniatures grew rapidly. In the mid 1000, 980s, the preponderance of work moved from Ralph sculptors' designs to manufacturing under licence for nationally marketed games. In the short run, the move was economically beneficial. However, the lack of product diversity left the company vulnerable to the marketing decisions of clients for whom miniatures were a minor interest. Between 2001 and 2014, Ralph Potha was an unused trademark caught up in the mergers and intellectual property negotiations between large game producers. Since 2001, the focus of Iron Wind Metals has been on existing product lines, Battletech licensed figures, and manufacturing for partner companies who carry out their own designs, marketing, and distribution. In 2014, the production and productive capacities were reunited under Ralph Partha Enterprises, a division of Iron Wind Metals. Basement Enterprise, 1975 1978. The young company received early encouragement from the sale of its entire stock at Gen Con 1976, a convention of gaming enthusiasts. Ralph Potha's lines and customer base grew quickly and they regularly won multiple categories of the Origins Award. Ralph Potha's figures were popular with historical wargamers, but fans of fantasy-themed role-playing games like TSR, Inc., S Dungeons and Dragons accounted for the majority of their sales. Maya's sculpts tended to carry greater detail than many of his contemporaries, but some early products presented challenges to the casting process. One of Tom Maya's earliest lines was the fantasy line, which included about two dozen figures in late 1976. Maya's E. Satine adventure is credited as being the first female character for role-playing games. The fantasy line was renamed ES slash 1XXX Personalities and Things That Go Bump in the Night in 1978 and Meyer augmented the line throughout the 1980s. As early as 1976, Meyer had begun a series of soldiers from classical antiquity which were collected together as in slash 35XXX the hot pipes. By 1978, the line was essentially complete and included Greeks, Carthaginians, Persians, Gauls, early Republic Romans and Macedonians. Another series, begun by Meyer in 1976, was a line of 11th century knights and footmen called 11 42 xxx 1200 Anno Domini. The series included Vikings, English, French, Spanish, Moorish, Mongol, and some Chinese soldiers. Ralph Potha put EXXX Wizards, Warriors, and Warlocks into production in 1976, 1977, and 1979. The line included some of Maya's earliest work and much of it was executed in the style of heritage models for whom he had briefly worked. The EXXX series was retired in 1980, but portions of it were re-released in 1995 as part of the 19XXX Ralph Potha Remembered line commemorating the company's 20th anniversary. In 1978, Ralph Potha acquired the Old Gods Legions of the Petal Throne line of figures for TSR, Inc., 
S. Empire of the Petal Throne, a role-playing game based on M. at R. Barker's World of Take Mill. Ralph Potter retained the services of William Murray, the line sculptor. Tom Matter and Brian Apple made contributions to the series T, Y, P, M and HXXX in 1979, but it was discontinued later that year. As early as 1978, Ralph Potter produced three series of 15mm historical miniatures sculpted by George Freeman of Dayton, Ohio. They included Napoleonic era figures NXXX Days of the Empire, AWXXX American Civil War, and AKXXX Desert Rats, modelling the North African campaign of World War Roman II. And Gallup also contributed an ACXXX series to the American Civil War line. In 1979, Ralph Poth added Freeman's 25mm WXXX Waterloo Collectors series, but all of Freeman and Gallup's figures were discontinued in 1980. George Freeman's 15 Napoleonics figures are available from Monday Night Productions. See external links below. Ralph Arthur's first venture into science fiction was Maya's 1978 line of Space Marines and Space Aliens GGXXX Galactic Grenadiers, Strike Force Alpha. The release was in tandem with Game Zone's Strike Team Alpha, a set designed by Michael Scott Cuttick for Maya's Galactic Grenadiers. Other early lines included collectible 54mm figures called S-97XXX Potha personalities and lines of 25mm dungeon accessories D-97XXX and weapons D-97-5X. Producer of Signature Lines, 1979-1986 In the summer of 1978, Maya began reworking the themes of the EXXX series to create the CS-2XXX Fantasy Collectors line of elves. Maya's lines were successful and he began sculpting full-time in 1979. The addition of dwarves in 1979 and goblins in 1980 almost entirely replaced the EXXX series. Maya added Taffings in 1982 and began a series of fantasy vehicles. The first was 230 Dwarf Steam Cannon, released in 1983. Maya's contribution to the series was completed when 2-70 ate the war machine and 2-20 the elf chariot were put into production in 1984. Ralph Potha hired Dennis Mize in 1979. With two full-time sculptors, Ralph Potha's product lines increased rapidly. Maya's first project was HXXX Royal Armies of the Hyborian Edisha Company of Fantasy Games Unlimited Game of the same name, based on the world of Robert East. Howard's Conan the Barbarian the Hyborian Lion was dropped in 1980, and Mize introduced 53 minus 7 the Samurai and a line of 15 fantasy soldiers called 5XXX Armies of Myth and Legend. His popular CN slash 13XXX Children of the Night was begun by 1982 and expanded over the course of the next two years. In 1982, Mize and Maya created figures for small thematic box sets called 98XXX The Adventures. Myers also added to and revised Myers the Hoplites and 1200 Dano de Mini Lions in 1984. In 1979, Meyer introduced 15 54 XXX Conditatory, a line of Renaissance era figures. The first offerings were Imperialists, to which he added Swiss and Turks in 1980. Meyer expanded the historical ranges with the 1983 edition of 88 XXX The Colonials. Sculpts for the Anglo Zulu War were augmented in 1984 with figures for the Northwest Frontier and the Sudan Campaign in 1985. Ralph Porth entered the game market in 1980 with the release of 99 One Witch's Cauldron, 99 minus 2 Calvin's Deep, 99 minus 3 Final Frontier, and 99 minus 4 Galactic Grenadiers, skirmish games designed by Glenn East. Hate and Mark Rubin. Galactic Grenadiers included miniatures from the GGXXX series. 15mm figures from Final Frontiers were released in 1982 as 8XXX Star Warriors. By 1982, the presidency of the company passed from Glen East. Kid to Jack Hesselberg. The lines of 15mm fantasy figures were taken out of production and the figures from the Caverns Deep and Witches Cauldron games were incorporated into 98XXX The Adventures in 1983. Ralph Potter returned to the board game market in 1985 when they joined with Leggett Games Inc. to publish Fortress, a skirmish-based board game which incorporated lead Ralph Potter miniatures. That same year, the company launched 77XXX Potter paints and dragon-scale metallic creams which were packaged with dragon figures. 
In the spring of 1983, Ralph Potha began publishing a four-page newsletter entitled The Potha Pipeline, which was a house fanzine with articles generated by staff and friends. A typical issue included letters to Rao where the company's semi-mythical progenitor would answer readers' questions, scenarios for battles with Rao Partha figures, and new releases by Rao Partha and those which they distributed for Rafa. The Partha pipeline continued for three more years until ending its first series in 1986. A second series using the same name would be revived in 1999. Shuli Guthrie began freelance sculpting for Rao Partha in 1983. Her first line was the 2 minus 9x all things dark and dangerous. She worked with Meyer and Maison 98xxx The Adventures. Later that year, box sets of 10 minus streaks, the best of Ralph Potha and Julie Guthrie's 96xxx Elfquest figures for Chess or Sims Elfquest game were put into production. Guthrie expanded the all things dark and dangerous line in 1984, 1985 and 1986. In 1984, she joined Meyer and Mice to develop a short series of miniatures 95xxx for Nova Games' Lost World series of combat books. In 1985, Guthrie contributed two sculpts of unicorns to P. Ominous Threeks Once Upon a Time series designed for the gift time market, cast and lead free ally, and marketed as Potha Peter by Rockcliffe Peter. The work with Peter allowed Ralph Potha's mold makers to develop the technical expertise necessary to transition to non-lead allies in the early 1990s. Robert North Charette joined Ralph Potha in 1984 and contributed to Maya's The Hoplites 1200D and CS slash 2XXX collector series lines. In 1985, Charette inaugurated figures for Chaosium's RuneQuest and a line of pulp adventures. The line was initially called 20th Century Plus, but was later renamed 20XXX The Roaring Twenties. Charette revisited a line of figures he sculpted in 1979 to accompany Fantasy Games Unlimited's Gangster. Charette updated the line to include new cinematic themes such as the intrepid archaeologist. In 1986 Charette introduced 53-9X Bushido, a line of miniatures for Bushido, a game he authored and sculpted a line of figures for Fantasy Games Unlimited. In 1985, Bob Charette began producing a line of miniature robot war machines for a game that was first called Battle Droids and renamed Battle Tech in 1986 for Foss's game of the same name. It was the beginning of a permanent relationship between the two companies that would eventually lead to Ralph Potha's sale to Fossil. Battle Tech products remain a leading product of Ralph Potha's successor, Iron Wind Metals, and Charette continued on his creative development and authored several related novels. In 1986, Ralph Potha sculptors crafted one three three staged characters, which consisted of three aspects with increasing amounts of arms and armour to represent a single adventurer's game career. The line was folded into the ES one xxx line in 1987. Because of their popularity with collectors and role players, they regained status as a separate line and a place of prominence in the 1991 and subsequent catalogues. Chaos Wars 1986-1987. At the same time that integrated campaign worlds like Games Workshop's Warhammer Fantasy Battle were showing early success, Ralph Potha introduced the Chaos Wars theme into the 1986 and 1987 product lines. It was the first step toward unifying a collection of disparate themes into an integrated brand. In the 1986 catalogue, sculptors were no longer credited on a mythical Ralph Potha rather than the president of the company addressed customers in the prologue. At about the same time, the Ralph Potha staff had developed a four-page rules according to Ralph for medieval battles. A fantasy version by Bob Charette, Rich Smethers, Mark Rubin and Chuck Crane was released in 1987 as part of a box set rules according to Ralph, Chaos Wars. The Chaos Wars theme collected together numerous existing products, many from Maya's ES-1XXX line, and their packaging was marked with stickers. As part of the Chaos Wars product line, the Partha Pipeline newsletter was transformed into the Ral Partha War Bulletin in January 1986. The War Bulletin followed much of the same format as the Pipeline, but its focus was the Chaos Wars product line. Releases were sporadic and continued until at least the spring of 1990. The new initiative was to include 10 minutes talks free companies of Chaos Wars box sets, but large contracts to produce miniatures for other gaming companies became a higher priority and the Chaos Wars lines were appended to the CS-2XXX collector's series. 
Among these sets were Chirette's popular Fangs of Fury Beast Men, Tom Myers Korg's Killer's Orcs, and Myers Starbrow's Select Elves. Having never fully materialised, the Chaos Wars theme was set aside in 1988 in order to give necessary attention to producing official Advanced Dungeons and Dragons miniatures for TSR Inc. S Advanced Dungeons and Dragons game. Producer of Licensed Lines, 1988-1995 in 1988, Maya began his own company, Thunderbolt Mountain Miniatures, but continued to do freelance work for Ralph Potha. Company president Chuck Crane hired Sandra L. Garrity, Dave Summers and Richard Kerr as full-time sculptors to produce an official line of monsters and personalities for AD&D figures. The earliest figures include a 10 minutes 56 battle system, Brigades 25mm which included an entire 25mm military unit in for tabletop war games, and Adventure is Lavender Ox and Monsters 11 minutes forks for role playing games. In 1990, Ralph Potha launched 10 minutes 5x Dragonlance and Dungeons and Dragons and 10 minutes 55x Forgotten Realms box sets. The line grew rapidly and 1991 saw the addition of box sets for 11 minutes 9x Battle System Brigades 15mm, 11 minutes 5x Ravenloft, and 10 minutes 50 Fox Docks and Game Worlds. The 11 minutes 5x, 11 minutes 6 AD and D personalities of heroes and villains was released in 1994, and additional figures for the Planescape, Ravenloft, and Forgotten Realms game worlds followed in 1995. By 1997, Ralph Potha had also added figures for TSR, Ick, S. Dark Sun, Council of Worms, and Birthright game worlds. The breadth and earning potential of the Dungeons and Dragons franchise drove new releases and Ralph Potha scrambled to acquire the sculpting talents of British and American sculptors, including Nick Bibby, Jeff Wilhelm, Bob Ollie, Chris Atkin, Walter Vale, John N. Garrity and Jim Johnson in 1992, and Chaz Fitzpatrick and Jeff Valley by 1995. By 1991, the 20XXX battle tech line had grown to include 11 box sets and more than 100 Mets, aerospace fighters, and ground vehicles. Ralph Poth also produced 25MN 20 minus 9X Metrias depicting pilots, mechanics, and gods for role playing in the battle tech game world. That same year, Ralph Potha sculptors had begun crafting figures for Foss's game Shadowrun, a role playing game set in a futuristic cyber world. Shadowrun miniatures had previously been produced by Grenadier Miniatures. Ral Potha introduced the sculpt's 20 minutes 5x Shadowrun in 1992. The 12 xxx the All-American line of fighters, orcs, magic users, undead, dwarves, and else was released in 1991 and 1992. The name of the line appears to refer to the fact that all the figures were sculpted Ral Potha's four staff sculptors. Other new lines included Richard Kerr's 1992 futuristic tanks for Steve Jackson Games Ogre and the introduction of the 69XXX series for White Wolf, Inc. S. White Wolf, The Apocalypse and Vampire, The Masquerade in late 1993. Figures for White Wolf, Inc. S. Mage, The Ascension followed soon after. Initially, Ral Potha figures were cast from Leed and Tin Alley but in 1993 New York legislators nearly passed a public health bill barring the use of lead-in toys and miniatures. Despite the additional cost, numerous manufacturers anticipated parental concerns, similar legislation in other states, workplace safety, and began using white metal alloys. Ral Potha staff had previously developed a lead-free alloy for their Pothaputer, a line of collectible figurines designed for the giftware market. In September 1993, they began using a trademarked white metal alloy they called Relidium in all their products, and its use marks a clear benchmark for dating owl figures. The move away from lead was promoted in advertisements and bright red stickers on existing packaging. In time, New York Governor Mario Cuomo relented to hobbyist concerns and exempted miniatures from the state's public health law. However, the company never went back to lead. Ralph Potha correctly anticipated the industry's movement away from lead, but the associated price increases came at a time when miniatures and role-playing games were being eclipsed by collectible card games like Wizards of the Coast 1993 hit Magic, The Gathering. In 1994, the company experimented with Potha Plastics. The move was made well after Citadel Miniatures' successful introduction of plastic and pot plastic figures, but the figures were not popular with Ralph Potha's older customer base. In 1993, Dennis Myers designed the Titans of Terror series, which invoked the heroes and monsters of the horror films. 
The following year, Mays conceptualised and sculpted one of the seven Beastmasters, a line of carnivores in their trainers. The line was expanded the following year and would be completed until 1998. That same year, Raoul Poth produced coins of the realm, fantasy and historical coinage. In 1995, Raoul Poth's sculptors crafted figures for Steve Jackson game Space Knight, Andy Rama's Cole Sculptors Row, The Sterling Collection and Encounters of the Imagination. The Trouble with Wizards, 1996-2001 During Jack Hesselbrock's second term as company president, he re-established a newsletter which he called the Raoul Poth Gaming Club. Like its predecessors, it addressed letters from customers and company news. The series ran for six issues from June 1996 to September 1997. In December of 1996, Raoul Poth launched a website which hosted the newsletters and product ordering information. The newsletters reveal a number of licensing setbacks. The hobby market had moved away from role-playing games and war games and was rapidly becoming dominated by collectible card games like Wizards of the Coast Magic, The Gathering. Steve Jackson Games Ogre Miniatures and all three White Wolf lines were discontinued in 1996. Bob Charette's 18xxx RuneQuest figures were discontinued the following year. Since the late 1970s, the gaming miniatures industry had undergone what collectors call scale creep, an increase in size from 20 and 25mm scales i.e. tight to the eyes of an upright human-sized figure to 30mm and 32mm. By the late 1990s, the move to larger figures by market leaders like Games Workshop of Great Britain had made it such that Ralph Potha's sculpts of the 1970s and early 1980s appeared significantly smaller than others. In response to the shift in the market, Ralph Potha began adding to Tom Meyer's collector series CS-2XXX with a 30mm scale fantasy armies line in a British style which tended to have oversized weapons, punk and gothic fashions, and separate square bases. Chris Fitzpatrick designed a line of elves. Bob Ollie produced new dwarves, goblins, trolls and ogres. Jeff Wilhelm created a series of skeletons. Jim Johnson's contributions were bands of humans known as horse lords, savages, reavers and tyrants. Sandra Garrity designed the Knights of the Legion of Justice. A set of rules of the fantasy armies were developed by an outside work group called Raoul Potha Publishing. The game was first introduced in the 1997 Ralpatha catalogue flyers 40 Minus One Bloodstorm. Soon after, the project was retitled Battlestorm and published in 1998. The game was advertised as the first volume of the Fables game system, but no subsequent instalments were issued. Buoyed by the success of Magic, The Gathering, in 1997 Wizards of the Coast acquired TSR Inc. and with it control of the rights to Dungeons and Dragons miniatures. After an extension to their contract, Wizards of the Coast did not renew Raoul Potha's license for advanced dungeons and dragons miniatures and the figures went out of production at the end of 1998. These miniatures are highly sought after by collectors who believe that Wizards of the Coast had ordered the destruction of the Master Moulds. The loss of dungeons and dragons and other licenses meant that Foss's battle tech figures became the majority of Raoul Potha's revenue. Under threat of also losing those lines and the financial difficulties created by the change in hobby market, the owners of Ralph Potha sold the company in 1998 to Fawcett and Lanier Hurdle and Mike Hurdle, owners of Sockeye Distribution, a hobby shop supplier. Fawcett gained sole ownership in the spring of 1999 and Ralph Potha began to produce miniatures for Fawcett's Crimson Skies, Crucible, Conquest of the Final Realm and Vor, the Maelstrom Games. No sooner were these miniatures in stores when Fossa ceased production of all their games. In December 1999, Ralph Potha launched the Potha Pipeline to announce new products for Fossa's games, as well as house designs. At this time, Ralph Potha had an in-house design studio and a host of staff and freelance sculptors, which included Kev Adams, Jeff Grace, Bale W, Hubbock Roman III, Randy Kerr, Robert Kite, Phil Lewis, Dennis Mays, Bob Ollie, Tim Prowl, Steve Saunders, Celsius. Staples, Dave Summers, Jeff Wilhelm, John Winter. The second series of the Potha Pipeline ran until late 2000 when the Ralph Poth assets faced another acquisition. In January 2000, One Wiz Kids, a New Jersey based producer of plastic collectible miniatures games, acquired the bulk of Ralph Poth's assets as part of their purchase of Foss's Battletech and Chatter and Games. Wiz Kids purchased the rights to some figures from Ralph Poth the sculptors but the bulk reverted to the artists. 
Mai retained his 15 slash 54 XXX conditatory, 88 XXX The Colonials, and most of the CS slash 2 XXX fantasy collector's lines. Charette remained in possession of his 53 minus 9 Expeshito figures. Raul Potha continued to produce miniatures for the battle tech and shadow and gaming worlds. Wizkids licensed the rights to Robux and other gaming materials to Fantasy Productions, better known as Vanpro in the United States, which had produced and distributed the German language versions of those games for Fossa. Vanpro's support of the Shadow and, and Battletech game worlds resulted in continued demand for metal miniatures by gaming enthusiasts. In March 2001, Raoul Poth began producing collectible metal versions of the WizKids 64 figure Mage Knight Rebellion set. The relationship between WizKids and Raoul Partha was a short one. By year's end, WizKids rethought its investment in metal miniatures and divested itself of Raoul Partha's manufacturing capabilities while retaining the Raoul Partha trademark. Iron Wind Metals 2001-2014 In late 2001, Raoul Partha's manufacturing capacities were spun off from WizKids and renamed Iron Wind Metals, LLC, with longtime general manager Michael Nur as president and in partnership with Mark Rubin, one of Raoul Partha's original owners. Iron Wind Metals retained the same location and much of the same production staff, moulds, equipment, working relationships with artists and licensing agreements. In addition to their own lines, Iron Wind Metals carries out contract production work for other gaming labels such as Tom Meyer's Thunderbolt Mountain, Dark Sword Miniatures, Crocodile Games and dozens of others. Iron Wind Metals' new focus on productive capacities reflected a shift in game production strategy. The previous model had been that gaming companies hired sculptors and other creative talent to feed their in-house casting and packaging facilities. This model was successful but artists sometimes didn't have the capital necessary to retain copyrights and the mercurial nature of the market meant that their game designs could be sold to others or languish as assets of dead companies. In the late 1980s, many game designers and sculptors established boutique companies, often operating out of their own homes, and then contracted out or made partnerships with companies like Iron Wind Metals to do the production. Iron Wind Metals continued to use the name Raoul Partha to describe archive designs, but the website and Raoul Partha trademark remained the property of WizKids, which underwent a series of acquisitions. In 2003, WizKids was purchased by Tops, a manufacturer of sports cards who were interested in WizKids' range of similarly collectible plastic miniatures. In 2007, Tops was purchased by the Tornante Company, a private equity firm. Citing falling profits associated with the Great Recession, Tornante had put the WizKids product lens on hold in November 2008, but continued to lease the intellectual properties of Battletech and Shadow and Game Worlds. In September 14, 2009, the Tornante company sold the majority of the WizKids assets to the National Entertainment Collectibles Association Necker, but retained the rights to Battletech, Shadow and, and the Raoul Path trademark and website. The divisions and purchases meant the assets important to the Raoul Partha brand were divided among numerous enterprises. Between 1998 and 2009, the Raoul Partha trademark passed from Fosso to Wizkids Tops and finally the Tornante Company, none of whom utilised the brand. The miniatures for the Battletech miniatures produced by Raoul Partha and then Iron Wind Metals remain popular, but the future of the game was always in question. Fanpro had lost its way to produce the Battletech and Shadow and Game Worlds, but in Media Res created a new subsidiary, Catalyst Game Labs, to design new expansions for the games and provided continuity by employing many former Fanpro staff. The productive capacities for Raoul Partha miniatures remained with Iron Wind Metals, who had retained working relationships with many of the artists but could not use the Raoul Partha name. Longtown customers could special order many of the figures, but they could not be marketed as Raoul Partha figures. The trademark languished until 2014 when the Tornante company agreed to sell the assets to Iron Wind Metals. By the end of 2014, Iron Wind Metals had recreated Raoul Partha by forming a new division which united the Raoul Partha trademark, website and sculptors' copyrights with their improved productive capacities. Raoul Partha, a division of Iron Wind Metals 2014-2020 on the 40th anniversary of the funding of Raoul Partha, Iron Wind Metals relaunched the miniature lines from Raoul Partha's Golden Age. Establishing Raoul Partha as a division of Iron Wind Metals, President Mike Now and co owner Mark Rubin launched a Kickstarter campaign to crowdfund the production costs of its 1980s lions under the Chaos Wars game world. 
Ralph Potha had begun developing Chaos Wars in 1986. At that time, they had released a new version of House Rules called Rules According to Ral Gaming System with scenarios, several box sets, and blister packs marked with Chaos Wars stickers. However, the initiative was put on hold by the push to produce miniatures for Alliance license by TSR, Vossa, and other partners. After a 16 year hiatus, Chaos Wars returned as a series of blister packs, limited edition box sets, and battle packs of elves, orcs, and goblin figures drawn from Ralpothesis slash 2XXX fantasy collectors, 12XXX, the All American, and other lines. A majority of the figures was sculpted by Tom Meyer, who supported the re release. In 2016, Ian Wind Metals completed a second campaign of revived previously archived figures of dwarves, undead, and troglodytes. Ral Potha Legacy Limited, 2020 present. In July 2020, Iron Wind Metals retired the Ral Partha division of Iron Wind Metals brand and licensed the Ral Partha Your Fantasy and historical miniatures to Ral Partha Legacy Limited, which owns the Chaos Wars games. Ral Partha Legacy also acquired the license to Tom Meyer's Thunderbolt Mountain Miniature Lines, which unites more than four decades of the artist's work. The new company has announced additions to the existing lines by original designers like Tom Meyer and Robert North. Charette, as well as new artists. Iron Wind Metals continues to produce lines for the Fosse Year futuristic games including Battletech and Chadoran. Sculptors, artists and mould makers. Ralpotha sculptors, artists and mould makers and the years in which they worked for the company. Staff sculptors Tom Meyer, 1975-1988. Freelance 1989 minus 1991, 2015 present Dennis Mize, 1979-1999 Julie Guthrie, 1983-1992 Bolt Charette, 1984-1988 Chris Atkin, 1985-1999 Richard Kerr, 1987-1994 Sandra Garty, 1988-1992 Dave Summers, 1988-1996 Bob Ollie, 1990 minus 1999 Jeff Willem, 1991-2000 Jim Johnson, 1992-1996 Steve Saunders, 1994-2001 Robert Kite, 1995-1996 Chris Fitzpatrick, 1995-2001 Jeff Valley, 1995-2001 Brady Buck, 1997-2001 Jeff Grace, 1997-2001 Ken Gersey, 1997-2001 Bobby Jackson, 1999-2001 John Winter, 1999-2001 Tim Prow, 2000-2001 James Van Shake, 2000-2001 Phil Lewis BLW, Hobbock Woman 3. Freelance Sculptors George Freeman, 1977-1978 and Gallop, 1977 William Murray, 1977-1978 Jay Adams, 1979 Brian Apple, 1979 Chip Pearson, 1987 Nicholas Bibby, 1990 John M. Garrity, 1991 Walter B. Bell, 1991. Mold makers, casters, and production managers Michael Murphy, mold maker, production manager 1977 1986 Gary Wilkson, master mold maker 1977 1984 Michael No, mold maker 1982 minus 1000. 986, Production Manager 1987 minus 2001, President 2001, Present Celsius. Brad Gorby, Illustrator, Sculptor, Mold War 1984 minus 1000, 985, Brian Hitman, Master Mold Maker 1984 1991, John Sarver, Master Mold Maker 1992 2001. Graphic Artists and Illustrators William Neff, Illustrator 1986 minus 1000. 987 Keith Holmes, Illustrator 1986 Duffless Mize, Illustrator 1987 Thomas R. Miller, Creative Director 1988 minus 1000. 994 Michael Weaver, Art Director, Illustrator 1987 minus 1000. 990 Brian Librandi, Kettle Otler 1995 minus 1000. 997 J. At Tecumbra, Catalogue Layout 1995 minus 1000. 997 Choose of Kide, Orthographic Design, Battletech 1995-2001 Awards Origins Awards slash HD 
Wells Awards 1977 Best Fantasy Figure Series, ES Slash 1XXX Fantasy Line Tonmai 1978 Best Historical Figure Series, 11 Slash 42 XXX 1200 Dada Dimidi Tonmai 1978 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series, Fantasy Collector Series, CS Slash 2 XXX Tonmai 1979 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series, Collectible Series, Slash 2 XXX Tonmai 1980 Best Historical Figure Series, Gone to 15 Slash 54 XXX XXX Tom 1980 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series Personalities The S Slash 1 XXX Tom 1980 One Best Historical Figure Series Gone to 15 Slash 54 XXX Tom 1980 Two Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series Personalities And Things That Go Bump in the Night The S Slash 1 XXX Tom 1980 Three Best Vehicular Series 25 and 12 Steen Cannon 2 Minus 30 Tom 1984 Best Historical Figure Series 25 and Colonial 88 XXX series and Northwest Frontier. Tom Mayer 1984 Best Fantasy of Science Fiction Figure Series 25 and Personalities ESR 1 XXX Tom Mayer 1985 Best Historical Figure Series 25 and Sanurai 53 minus 7 Bob Tarrett. Dennis Mouse 1986 Best Vehicular or Accessory Series Battle Tech Match. 20 minus 6 Bob Tarrett. Julie Guthrie. Tom Mayer 1987 Best Historical Figure Series Ogun Hod Guys. The New Samurai 53 minus 7 Dennis Mays, Bob Tourette 1988 Best Historical Figure Series 1200 at D. Asex 42 minus Streaks, Richard K 1988 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series CSR AD and D Series 11 XXX Tom Meyer, Dennis Mays 1988 Best Vehicular or Accessory Series Battle Tech Mets 20 minus 6 Bob Tourette, Julie Guthrie. Tom Mayer 1989 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series Dragon and Heroes Line 10 500 to Dennis Myers, Tom Mayer, Richard Kerr 1989 Best Vehicular Miniatures Series Battle Tech Mets and Vehicles 20 XXX Day of Summers Sandy Gertie, Richard Kerr, Tom Mayer, Bob Turret, Julie Guthrie 1999 Best Historical Figure Series 25 um, Ancients 30 5 minus 7 North African Ancients Day of Summers Sandra Gouty, 1990 Best Fantasy of Science Fiction Figure Series of D&D Monsters, 11 Minus Forex, Dennis Mouse, Nick Bibby, Richard K. Sandra Gouty, 1991 Best Fantasy of Science Fiction Figure Series Adder and 20 Minus Fevix, Tom Meyer, Dennis Mouse, Dave Summers, 1991 Best Vehicular Miniatures Series Battle Tech Mets and Vehicles 20 XXX, Jeff Wilhelm, Dave Summers, Sandy Garrity, Richard K. Tom Meyer, Bob Charette, Julie Guthrie 1992 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series Ravenloft 11 Minus Wonks Dennis Mouse 1992 Best Vehicular Miniature Series Battle Tech Mets and Vehicles 20 Minus 6 Jeff Wilhelm Day of Summers Sandy Carty Richard Kerr Tom Meyer Bob Charette Julie Guthrie 1992 Best Vehicular Miniature Series Ogre Miniatures Jeff Wilhelm Day of Summers Richard Kerr 1992 Best Historical Figure Series X was Ancient Biblical Jim Johnson 1993 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series A D and D Line 11 XXX Dennis Mize Jim Johnson Jeffrey Valley Day of Summers Jeff Wilhelm Richard Kerr 1993 Best Vehicular Series Battletech 20 Minus X Day of Summers Jim Johnson, Richard Kerr, Jeff Wilhelm, 1994 Best Fantasy or Science Fiction Figure Series ID and Deep Personalities 11XXX, Jim Johnson, Dennis Mouse, Jeff Wilhelm, 1994 Best Vehicular Series Battle Tech, Vehicles and Mets 20XXX, Chris Atkin, Jim Johnson, Richard Kerr, Dave Summers, Jeff Wilhelm, 1995 Best Vehicular Series Battle Tech, Vehicles and Mets 20XXX, Chris Atkin, Robert Kite, Jim Johnson, Dave Summers, Jeff Wilhelm, 1996 Best Vehicular Miniatures Series Battle Tech, Mets and Vehicles 20XXX, Chuck Green, Chris Atkin, Jim Johnson, Robert Kite, Dave Summers, Jeff Wilhelm, Origins Hall of Fame 1990, Tom Meyer 1995, Julie Guthrie 1997, Wrap Off the Battle Tech, Mets and Vehicles, Chuck Green, Developer 2003, Bob Chirrut 2005, Dennis Myers. Strategist Club Creativity in Wargaming Award 1978 Outstanding Miniature Figure Line Fantasy Collector Series CS Slash TXXX Tom Meyer 1979 Outstanding Miniatures Figure Line Conditory 15 Slash 54 XXX Tom Meyer The Carrier Award 1979 Best Historical Miniature Line Conditory 15 Slash 54 XXX Tom Meyer 
Games Day Awards 1979 Best Range SS slash F Figures Personalities and Things That Go Bump in an ITS slash 1XXX Tom Rye 1980 Best Figures Range A Circle 1200 Anna Domini 11 XXX Tom Mayo. References in Popular Culture The company was honoured by the writers of the television show Andromeda by the naming of a fictional planet Ralpothia, a planet-wide nature preserve created by an ancient race of space aliens. The miniature company's name has been adopted by the San Francisco Scandinavian preppy band Ralpoth of Ojebuker. Reportedly, the last part of the band's name was the surname of a childhood bully of one of the members and forms a statement of the nerd pride movement.